a single rat can bring a lot of infectious diseases. But imagine a swarm of rats that can actually devour your live body. Dark Howl Gaming Hello and good day, I'm Jeff and welcome to Dark Howl Gaming where learning and gaming is fun. Guys, we are going to talk about rats. Well, not your normal ordinary rats, but the rats coming from the game A Plague's Tale Innocence by Focus Home Interactive. So guys, based on uh, the reaction trailer that you actually saw before this one, hopefully you did. If not, please do check it somewhere over here. I do have a, a link somewhere over here. That, please do check it out first. Uh, anyways, so yeah, the game talks about rats. So guys, let's start with the trailer itself. The start of the trailer, which pretty much shows us at the bottom right, is Peggy 18. So if you don't know, if you don't know what that is about, that is pretty much to tell you that. Uh, this kind of games is usually for adults, 18 and up, not, of course, not below. Based on the trailer itself, you can actually really just judge that it's not for children. Uh, okay, so please don't be stupid and let your, uh, let your kids play this one, guys. I mean, let your teenagers play, probably, like the 18s. You know? Anywho, so yeah, this is Peggy 18 because uh, the violence reaches a stage where it becomes a depiction of gross violence. So yeah, it makes us, it, well, it kind of made me feel uh, the sense of revulsion. So I felt disgusted uh, seeing the swarm of uh, rats just, just moving forward. Uh, just swarming in the human beings, swarming uh, our two protagonists there. It's just disgusting, guys. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe some people are actually into that, but uh, not me. Okay, so continuing on. So the setting of the game, based on the research and also what we can actually see, is 1349. This is the 14th century, guys, and it is in France. Okay, so... During this time, during the 14th century, we have the Black Plague. So, yes, the Black Plague, uh, if you don't know that, please do try to research. Any, anyways, the Black Plague is where a lot of diseases uh, which is being carried by animals, yeah, rats. These diseases actually spread out fast and throughout the, uh, the Middle East and pretty much uh, a, lot, a lot of places leading to millions of deaths. Okay, that's why we. That's why it's called the Black Plague. Now, during this time too, there is no light. Uh, when I mean light, is uh, electrical lights, guys. Uh, it's the 14th century. Why am I including that? Because it's very, very important in this game. So we'll talk more about that later. But let's now uh, continuing forward with the trailer. It starts off with uh, probably a soldier saying, "Heretic! God judged you." And I am your executioner. So I do believe that uh, this uh, short dialogue here is actually directed to our two protagonists, um, or maybe just one of them. So of course, uh, if you don't know what heretics are, uh, they are people that actually believing against the accepted or what is the official belief of that area. So we can actually talk about that in 14th century. Uh, in France, it's uh, Christianity. So, if you don't believe the, the the normal beliefs of the people and the church, then you're considered uh, her uh, heretic, and uh, you can pretty much be killed. That's why there are soldiers in here that are, I do believe, are inquisitions. Okay, people that are tasked by the church to hunt down uh, her heretics, and. Uh, probably kill them or I don't know anyways so yes so you can actually see that this uh, soldiers burned down a mill my theory is that that would that is the orphanage where our two protagonists uh, came from so we know that the protagonists are actually orphans and it's not just the two of them so yes they burned the orphanage maybe because the whole orphanage have their own beliefs uh looking at looking at the location of the 
the mill it's it looks far away from the city or far away from the village and uh, so they have their own beliefs so probably the, the the people that are working in the orphanage or the ones really taking care of the orphans have their own uh, Christian beliefs so yes the burning building there is I do believe the orphanage and at the back you can also actually see a piled up carcasses dead bodies of maybe the children or the people working there and uh, on top of them there are rats so just uh, not, not a lot of rats but you, you do see the first uh, part there that there's already rats there and the next part we get to actually now see or partially see our protagonist which is Amicia and Hugo so we have siblings as our protagonist in this game so we can see that they're escaping the orphanage you can see the burning orphanage or burning mill at the back as they traverse through the waters and uh, you can also see the rats just uh, on the on, on the ground yeah the rats here are not really swimming so I, I don't know and the our protagonists here don't, don't carry any light so we'll uh, there has to be something here guys uh, after that part is going to be a something uh, an interesting part where, where we get to see them actually now in the city and Amicia the the girl does a really cool slingshot um, and taking out the lantern of the soldier leading to his death by rats uh, pretty much yeah yeah it's uh, really disgusting that that part really was disgusting so the rats pretty much jump up on him and then yeah brought, uh, brought him down and pretty much just ate him we'll <laughs> you will actually get to see in the trailer uh, what happened next which is of course this So now uh, we can get to see that these two protagonists of ours are actually running towards the church because uh, I do believe it is a church because uh, it does have the cr uh, the cross or the the symbol of uh, Roman Catholic outside and uh, you also see some dead uh, dead soldiers outside uh, I think already eaten by our beloved swarm rats here so they move on forward and we get to see some broken uh, chairs in the church so it does kind of look like a church but it, it's not really focused and then they move to another area where I think is a secret area because it doesn't look like a church it kind of look like a cult uh, a room so uh, here's my theory of that one there is a cult beneath this uh, church and as you can see the pillars there are kind of like uh, covered with bones uh, and black ooze uh, so I don't know how to really describe it it just looks uh, and really disgusting and then they move forward and then Amicia said the lines I don't like this it's um, if she did really say I don't like this while looking at uh, a statue of what I think is uh, Mary Virgin Mary then there's something wrong with this because of course the okay the Virgin Mary statue there it looks all right it's white and it's being adored it's being taken care of you have the candles at the bottom but the surrounding is it's just so weird like like what I said these are like uh, black ooze uh, covering bones attached to the walls and then pretty much surrounding the Virgin Mary here so I don't know what kind of heresies these are um, I have a theory of my own with that one it could be um, iconoclasm which is a heresy where they believe that icons are are better I guess so when you when you try to say icons that includes the saints and all they are better than uh, Jesus okay and then uh, there's another one which I believe I'm not quite sure of how to pronounce this one it's a uh, choleridianism or choleridianism <laughs> I'm not quite sure of the pronunciation but this one is pretty much saying that the Virgin Mary is a goddess like uh, she needs to be adored way much more than Jesus so it, it's either between those two if it really is talking about heresies here 
so th again those are theories guys I'm not quite sure if those are true but we'll get to know more of that as we see uh, more of the trailers which will come soon but yeah after that the rats bust, bust in and then it's not just rats it's a swarm of rats and it's uh, that part was uh, a <laughs> was giving me goosebumps already uh, just the just to be to be in that kind of situation is kind of deadly because of course you are now surrounded by those rats and you can live is by use using the lantern here guys so we haven't really talked about uh, the lantern here so the lantern if you if you try to take a look uh, it does have a, a different color than your normal uh, fire here so what I think is that the normal fire does not really make them afraid of you uh, but a specific kind of light uh, that's what I think or maybe just because the lantern just gives a different kind of color a different shade of flame maybe that's uh, the one that is pretty much preventing the rats to really come into you so there's just a certain radius uh, into it that you're actually safe now going to the last part there when uh when hugo actually fell down i had the feeling that maybe hugo is actually going to die here because he did fell down and at the same time amicia actually turned over to her uh left side which made the lantern go farther from from hugo and what I think is that those rats can pretty much take advantage of that and pretty much just climb on Hugo and start eating him alive. So I don't really know how they can actually get away from this kind of situation. So this is this was actually a cool uh, ending to a trailer because they they will uh, they will let you ask or pretty much the viewers will ask questions of what's going to happen and that made me feel uh, uh, this way it made me feel um, wanting more so well done uh, editor for doing uh, this kind of trailer now um, there's also one thing that I really want to talk about is the last part uh, the one that really gave me the chills is um, yeah, at, uh, the last part after the title uh, showing up, they use the theme song uh, Ring a Ring of Roses. Of course, guys, it's just a normal uh, child song. But then again, uh, no, uh, usually uh, child songs have a grim past to it and uh, I did my research and yeah Ring a Ring of Roses was somehow used as a song to pretty much depict the Black Plague so if you want to continue with the song uh, Ashes to Ashes and we all fall down and uh, there's another version there that pretty much t uh, tells us that um, this song is saying that it or pretty much is describing uh, the infections that you can get from the black plague or usually from the rats but uh, it was kind of really interesting when they played that it really gave me goosebumps and chills at that moment as, especially uh, how it was sung and the use of the eerie kind of voice the girl uh, girl eerie voice it's really like uh, a nightmare so <laughs> it was kind of brilliant actually horrific but brilliant okay guys um, also uh, let's take a look at the tile so you can see there that it's just a very simple tile but you can see that the rat is pretty much there it's they're really trying to show you that this is the main theme of this story or, or of the game it has something to do with rats now let's talk about the word innocence there as a as it's more of a tagline it's really part of the title so in a sense I guess this is talking about the protagonists of the story which are really kids they are orphans and they they, they barely look um, 18 maybe just uh, around 15 16 and so on but definitely Hugo is probably um, younger 
Now, uh, based on uh, what Focus uh, Focus Home Interactive uh, or the developers and publishers said during the E3 um, interview, the game progresses. The orphans get to see, or pretty much this too gets to find the other orphans that pretty much escaped uh, the orphanage. So that's going to be interesting, guys. It's uh, it's not just the two of them, but they have to work together with the other orphans in order for them to survive. And imagine this, guys, that this is during the Black Plague, and then Inquisitors are actually looking for them. Okay, you have the freaking rats pretty much uh, can just find you and then eat you alive. And what else? Your orphans. You don't know where you're going to get your food. How you can get your food? And uh, if the if the law, the Inquisition is uh, is looking for you, how are you going to manage to escape them? How? Where will you live? Where, I mean, yeah, where? Where? So you you have to feel pity to them, which makes this game uh, more attractive to me because it's 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 gonna it's not just going to be the gameplay which we haven't seen yet. Uh, the story itself looks really interesting. Something that you can actually really look forward to. Okay guys, it kind of feels like um, the game Little Nightmares, which is amazing by the way. Uh, try to try to try to understand uh, that game and it kind of feels like this one. You ha there is a deeper meaning to the, ga uh, the gameplay and the story. So guys, if you haven't seen that game, uh, I did do a let's play with that one. So please do check it out. Uh, the card is over here. Uh, I I'm sure you will, you will love it. Uh, I do have some uh, weird uh, laughs and uh, scares on that part. Anyways, so guys, yeah, this game is uh, produced by, uh, sorry, published by uh, Focus Home Interactive and it's developed by Asobo Studio. So Asobo Studio is kind of more well known in the PC but they did do The Crew and also your Monopoly Plus. As for your Focus Home Interactive, a very famous uh, uh, publisher which is, which was uh, or should I say was able to publish uh, The Surge and they are actually going to publish uh, Vampire which is one of the games that a lot of people are looking forward to uh, based on the E3, E3 trailer that came out just a few days ago and um, there's uh, another thing guys which is not part of the trailer that I just kind of noticed is uh, this picture now I got this picture from uh, just looking for the uh, logo of the game and this I saw so it's it's a very simple uh, picture that actually can tell you a lot of things. So we have the two uh, orphans there running away from those swarm of rats, and they're actually running towards like a church-like building. But it has that symbol over there that I don't know. I did try to research, but I couldn't find it. It looks like a cult uh, symbol. So. Yeah, probably this is also the sub theme of the of the game, uh, something to do with heresies, cults, and uh, so on and so forth. So that's going to be interesting, guys, uh, as we get to know more about this game. So, so guys, what do you think about uh, the trailer and about this kind of theories? If you do agree, okay, sorry, if you do agree with me, please do. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I really want to know more about this game and if you want to know more about this game, very very simple. The only thing that you have to do, subscribe. Okay guys, so if you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, it will help me a lot and also uh, promote it by watching the videos over here. It's fun, okay, and also uh, educative. As I try to do my reactions, reactions trailer, uh, I'm also giving you information. So guys, Thank you very much for joining me. Please do take care and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.